Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Rix, and I'm bringing you probably an old game. I was browsing Steam today to see if I could find any interesting games. Maybe a game was on sale that I might be interested in. And this one happened to be available for free. And I was like, well, fuck, if it's free, it's got some pretty good reviews. It sounds kind of cool, Spooky's House of Jump Scares. It's, I think it's supposed to be a funny game. I'm actually not sure. I only looked at some of the screenshots, and one of the tags was cute. So, I actually have no idea if, um... I have no idea if it's actually going to be, like, what, what kind of game this is. I know it has to be keyboard and mouse. I tried to use my controller. It doesn't work. I had to fix the resolution and the frame rate and all that stuff, but everything seems to be in order now, so... Without further ado, I'm going to hop in here and get this shit on the road. Okay, can't really continue because I haven't played the game before. So, new game. So, you move with WASD. Look with the. Oh, God, it's mouse. No! <laughs> I'm so bad at mouse controls. Activate with E, enter, or space. I'll probably end up using space because I'm. Again, I'm not really used to this. I'm not used to fucking keyboard and mouse controls. I'm really bad at them. Oh, okay. Hello, I am spooky. Huh. Hey, Spooky. And this is my home. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. <laughs> okay, so... You can sprint with shift. Or... Was it shift? Do you sprint with shift? I Maybe not. I'm losing... Oh, okay, you have to hit shift before you start walking. And it uses... If you just tap shift while standing there, you use all your stamina. Can you just leave? Um, no, you can't leave. So we're in room zero. Apparently there's a thousand rooms, which is freaking ridiculous. Um, can you interact with torches? No. Okay, don't know what I'm doing. But let's go in this door. The my first impression is um it's definitely cute. <laughs> the art style is pretty cute. Can you you cannot do anything with that stuff. All right. Good to know. So far nothing too crazy in terms of jump scares, but we are only like 0.3% of the way done. No, wait, a thousand. Yeah, we're like 0.3% of the way done. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I'm expecting a jump scare. Because, I mean, the game is called Spooky's House of Jump Scares. But, for the most part, judging by the ghost at the beginning... Oh, do I get a selection now? Let's go here. Third from the left. So... Is this game supposed to be scary? Um, I guess don't don't spoil it for me. Um, I guess I don't I don't know what to expect. This looks like the exact same room, just slightly different. Looks like every time you go through a door, you, you enter a new room too. So and I don't think it matters which door you pick, or maybe it does. Maybe it's it. This is the only seated world and you can actually pick like it's always the same every time you play the game or maybe it's random and I interacted with that and it made a creepy sound that's really that picture's kind of unnerving I was, I was like hoping as I stared at it nothing would happen thank god nothing happened probably would have freaked whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. <sighs> Fuck. That actually really got me. I clenched really hard. Thanks a lot, Spooky Skeleton. That's so cute. It was just a sound, because I have headphones in, and my sound's pretty high, so I can, like, listen for stuff. Oh, man, that was unexpected. Well, I guess I should have expected it. Okay. It seems to be getting... Like... 
creepier? God damn it, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not even scary. It's just the fucking noise and the suddenness of it because it doesn't, it's like on a little piece of. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. I'm just hammering through this because I'm easily scared. Oh fuck, it's another one of these. I'm like, I'm prepared. Kind of. Okay, I was prepared for that one because it's the same shit that happened before. Um, what I'm not prepared for. <laughs> oh my god. This looks a lot like that one area I was in before. Okay, we made it to 20. It's a really, <laughs> it's a really interesting game. I'm really glad I picked it up. It's, it's definitely something different that I've never played. <laughs> Jesus. you just not can you oh shit oh my okay 22 starting to get a little creepy purple rooms kind of like a demonic aura going on and we're back here and spooky noises are starting to happen um I never went in here maybe you have to pick a different door whenever you go to like certain areas or something. Shit, dude. Oh fuck, what was that? Uh, I'm stuck. What? Oh, I missed the jump scare. <laughs> That's what that was. I was like preemptively looking around the corner and I completely missed that little guy. The sound still spooked me though. That's just it. It's the it's the sound that pops up all of a sudden. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. What about this would be romantic, though? Like, is this some kind of romantic getaway? I keep trying to interact with, like, everything that I feel might possibly be interactable. But it doesn't seem to be the case that everything is. I see you can pick up notes. Oh, uh, which is cool. So maybe there, maybe there's some kind of like underlying story to all of this. Maybe possibly. And I have a health bar, and I can sprint, which means I feel like sooner or later I'm gonna have to run from something, which is literally my least favorite thing to do in horror games is to run from stuff. But left click is to use your weapon, and so I hope I get a weapon soon. And fent. <laughs> God, just stop! Just fucking stop with the noise. Can you go back? No, you can't go back. Why would I ever want to go back to that room? We're here again. So I'm seeing like... I never went in here. So let's try this one. So this music is really what gets to me. The like ambient music. As well as the music that happens when you get jump scared. Like right here. Okay, nope. Nothing happened. <clears throat> God, I'm like... I'm like clenching my stomach because I know I'm gonna like get spooked. <laughs> I'm such a bitch when it comes to this kind of stuff. It reminds me of like Scarewind, like going to Scarewinds. That's pretty much how they get you every time at like amusement parks with like horror themes <clears throat> and like the spooky trails and stuff. It's always just people like jumping out at you, and that's what freaks me out. Jump scares, man. And also like suspenseful stuff usually scares me. Like it doesn't scare me, but suspense really eats away at you like psychologically and so oh, it's god damn it, it's really freaky like that fucking pumpkin no the pumpkin's not freaky at all it's super fucking adorable but i feel like it should it should swing like it should swing into view so you can at least kind of tell it's about to show up but no it literally just appears out of thin air within like one frame and then loud music happens and i get scared so this is really mean. This is a really mean game to make somebody play. But I really now I'm like really curious, like what the fuck's going on in this area? I feel like I I keep oh. Okay, we saved the game. Okay, so what is that? Keep a little pep in your step. So cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I know something is following me. 
but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Huh. Let's go down. Oh, this whole thing is an elevator. Shit. Is this gonna be like a theme every time you hit 50 rooms? You gotta like... Go... I don't know. That Resident Evil style door. I see you. I see you. Okay, so now it's like completely different style of rooms. Before it was like... Uh, the purple bricks. Now it's like... I don't know, like cinder blocks or something. And I'm, I'm starting to get the feel for the whole WA, WASD, but I'm still really bad with it. The only thing I've ever been able to do WASD is like Binding of Isaac, because it's like an aerial view, and so you're just going up, down, left, right. But being able to go forward, back, side to side is weird for me. This whole, yeah, this hall is too narrow to like have one of those little things pop up. Uh, can't really see past the bars. Ink, not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible, stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. What is up with this person in like romance? And why would you ever think drinking ink would be a good idea? I don't even think there's water in ink. But I guess when you're desperate, you're desperate. Okay, Spooky. I guess that's your name? Yeah, she said she was Spooky. So this is Spooky's house. Jump scares? I don't want to touch that. Um, I'm going to read this note first. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, ingest, invoking, nailing, never stops the choking. Yo! No, 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 no! We're running from that. Oh, it's not gonna follow me, is it? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 it's chasing me. It's chasing me. Oh, I hate this kind of stuff, is it? Oh, fuck you, dude. Fuck that thing. It's really fucking creepy. Get a good look at this thing. Look at that. Oh fuck, it got too close! <laughs> no, 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 no. Run! Do- oh, Shit! Fuck you! That's not an appropriate time for you, Mr. Pumpkin! Go, 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 fuck! Oh, You can't jump in this game either. And all you can do is sprint awkwardly because you can't hold the sprint button. While you're walking in order to sprint, you have to wait. You have to, like, stop moving, hold shift, and then go forward. Oh, you motherfucker! I don't like you! I don't like the thing chasing me. Fuck, and I feel like it's just gonna chase me through all of these rooms. Because it pissed it off. Because I, I questioned its integrity for drinking ink. I called it stupid, basically. Wait, the music's done? Okay, I think we're good. That was really freaky. I didn't like that at all. Um, yeah, that... I don't like being chased. I found something today to satisfy my own romantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. It's probably blood. Uh, just saying. I probably... Whoa. Really foggy room. Is that like a window? Are those are the little things that keep scaring me. Like cryo frozen and stuff. <laughs> Is this like people's reactions to playing this game? <laughs> I can see. I can see where those reactions would come from. 